Welcome back. Today we are reacting to Yep. Ain't gonna waste the time. Let's get into it. This is a 100 million dollar mega mansion and it's possibly the most luxurious house ever built by mankind and we're going to be comparing living in this house to living in this 69 million dollar art house that's built to withstand a literal tsunami a 30 million dollar palace with its very own water his camera cuts are amazing and everything in between all the way down to this one dollar barely functioning house more of a shed. Well, it's only a dollar. Why does this house cost a dollar? Yeah, we get another storm. It's probably going to go into the water. Uh -huh. So it's worth a dollar for me to just to get rid of it. So you would say this is a horrible investment for me? Yes, indeed. Let's do it. Let's go. Oh, oh. This is sketchy. <laughs> what are the odds I fall through? Pretty high. <laughs> Bro, these are wobbly. I like how that chair is just like holding on for real life. We have a recliner, a mattress, and half a floor. I can literally fish from inside of the house. Yo, I caught one. Whoa. That's just a lure, I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now that you see us having fun, do you regret selling it? I do not. What if I gave you $2 to buy pack off me? <laughs> he no. said, I right, do I not. I have an idea. Let's get out of this house. I Later in this video, we have a house that costs 100 million times more than this. And because I never plan on setting foot in this worthless shack again, let's head over to something a little nicer. Speaking of which, we're at the million dollar house. Which technically means you need to be a millionaire to buy this house. Let's show you how a millionaire lives. My first impression is it's way bigger than my house. When you pay a million dollars, you get a pretty good sized kitchen. Along with four bedrooms that look normal, but they keep going because this bedroom has a closet here. That house is gold. No count. This bathtub is gigantic. I'm six foot five and I can fit in this perfectly comfortably. And even though the bathrooms are all stocked with bidets, oh God. <laughs> the best seat in the house is definitely downstairs. Oh snap, they have a movie theater. Dude, these chairs are massage chairs. Wait, what? <laughs> These chairs each have two remotes. Two remotes. On top of the movie, yeah, theater, that's there's wrong, also bro. an arcade. I was not expecting all these features for $1 million. Yo, that's that so awesome. tough. I'd have so much more friends if I owned a place like this. And ending with the pool, which comes complete with this unnecessary waterfall. Overall, I'd say this was a pretty fun house to live in. But of course, we're all here to see the richest of the rich. And that's why up next, we have the 15 million... I wonder who his graphics designer is, bro. It's like his video is in thumbnail format. Like the the way his videos go, they're literally like thumbnails. Like when he zoom in, do that fifteen hundred, it's like a, a moving thumbnail. I wonder who's his graphic designers, bro. Oh my god, jeez, man, I don't belong here. This looks like the house that you try to get to in GTA. That view is crazy. The pool is much smaller than the $1 million house, but you can literally oversee all of LA. Help! Hey! Hey! Stop, stop, go inside. I need new friends. Let's check out the house. The person who owns this house, what do you think he does for a living? Mm, NFTs. He's a lawyer. This guy was the top attorney in 2020. <laughs> the NFTs. In 2021. Apparently that's all it takes to afford this house. It appears a note was left for us. Dear Mr. Beast, thank you for visiting my home. You have given me the ultimate gift. I have a trump card with my kids forever. Aw. Also, please don't eat any of the sandwiches. They are very sacred to me and my family's been passing it down from generation to generation. Got it. Down or up? Down. <laughs> down it is. Okay. Entertain. Entertain. The lower floor of this mansion comes with its very own movie theater and personal gym. This treadmill requires a passcode to Bro, a gym? 6969. It's not 6969. A guest bedroom, entertainment area, and a bar where the owner left us a bunch of free food. Guys, before you eat anything, yep. what if he left this out so he could sue us for eating his food? Well, too late now, Carly. And an incredible underground view of the swimming pool. Bro, that is so raw. Nolan's that is raw as fuck. the background for the shot. I don't think you realize we stopped filming. Over. That's raw. Back here. Yeah, do it one more time. And now, a master bedroom with another crazy view. Carl, come here. You missed. We got another one. Oh, you missed again. Oh, wait, Nolan, stop it. Nolan, stop this cushion also. 
sob throwing lip. Push it. If it goes over the edge, he might sue me. And so, to avoid being handed court papers, we decided to fly all the way across the country to Massachusetts for the $30 million house. This extraordinary $60 million. Dollars. That big got a golf course on the roof. In the main house, there are multiple living rooms. That's like some NBA ballers type shit. the best of the living rooms in this property. This is grand. What is this? The Oval Office. What book would you expect here besides The Way to Wealth by Benjamin Franklin? Greg made the light bulb and a book? Well, Edison made the light bulb, not Ben Franklin. What the hell did Ben Franklin do? I'm gonna read this book. <laughs> Past the living room and the office was the grand kitchen, where the owner had left a little gift for us. The owner of this place got rich making candles, so he made us custom Mr. Beast candles. That one smells like the beach. It does. How do they put the beach in a candle? And to that is so the tough. Main building, Chandler discovered that she can hit golf balls off the roof. I, I know, I peeped that. But that's not even close to the coolest thing about this place. Because next door is a garage filled with exotic cars. Why you this got a 12 like car garage? They got Lamborghinis on top of Lamborghinis. It's like a candy store for adults. And the best part is, this is just one of two car garages. Follow me. There's more? Bro, there's more cars in here. If you're watching this video, I'm manifesting that for you. I'm manifesting that for you. Leave a like, and uh, we can both manifest it for each other, bro. Than the other one. Holy crap! All right, now I am convinced. If we steal a car, he would not notice. How do you even buy these cars? Hey, I want three of the same ones. It's like a full-time job to buy this many cars. There's stairs in the corner. Let's see where they go, bro. I would know like which one to drive. With cars underneath the car garage is another army of cars. They should really invest in a light switch down here. They have 20 cars down here, but no lights. Bro, that is so many cars, bro. It's so many cars that I fuck around and walk. I get tired of driving. <gasps> Did Wait, I? No, no way. way. No. <gasps> oh, no way. Then he got the clap on lights. That's why there wasn't a light switch. I was like, who can afford to shove 30 cars in their basement, but not electricity? Now, don't get me so, wrong. All of the rooms in this house have been awesome so far. But if I owned it, I don't think I would ever leave this next building. This is awesome. Then that bitch got an indoor tennis court. Godly reason, whoever built this place thought it would be a good idea to install an entire indoor tennis court. I just want to remind you. And then, 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 hold on. They been so classy, bro. They had a piano off to the side. Right, bro. So that mean, like, while you playing, it'll be a motherfucker playing the piano while you playing tennis, bro. Like, that's some baller ass shit, bro. And they got a little bar over to the side. Nigga playing drunk tennis. I be in that joint off that Luna Zool. I'm talking about smacking that motherfucker. That we were playing tennis inside a house. I also have no idea how to play tennis. Gang squad, follow me. What? No way. Two story arcade. The arcade in this house is actually. This nigga got a Chuck E. Cheese in his crew. In the one million dollar house. Whoa. But that's not all. Bro, this place literally has everything. All right, I'm never leaving. We're playing ping pong in a basketball court in a house. First try, baby. All the features of the $30 million house have been pretty cool, but this next room is what makes this place truly special. I just want to know what the, the next house is. Well, what you really want to see is right over here. Look at this. This is an indoor water park. Whoa. It's like a whole nother world in here. Look how far back the drone is, and it's still going. Go have fun, but don't break anything. Roger that. <laughs> We're gonna enjoy the water park. I'll see you at the next house. The only bad news is it's across the entire country. The good news is it's a $45 million mega mansion. Whoa. What? Oh my gosh. This is like the most open house I've ever been in. What? I don't know what majestic thing this is. 
but it's beautiful. As you can probably tell, these houses are starting to get so expensive, I don't even know how to describe them anymore. Honestly, lost for words. This is quite possibly the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. So I called in multi-billionaire Mark Cuban to help us out. How's it going? Hey, good to see this place. How's it going, little man? Nice Mark's also the proud owner of the Dallas Mavericks basketball team. And because this house has its very own basketball court, you can imagine we got a little distracted. Ah, Jimmy won't make it. Buckets. <laughs> right, just steal it from Carl. Hit that! No shot. We got those! Yes! Okay, go, 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 go. Easy layup, bud. Yeah! There we go. Next point wins. All you, hit it. Game winner. Oh, no. Yeah! <laughs> Way to dominate. Bro, this give me the same yeah, feeling as watching MTV Cribs, bro. Nigga used to hate his house so much. Like, watching stuff like this making me you hate your house so much. You know, well, it used to. How much do they want for this house? 45. <laughs> Not worth it? Because it's Brentwood, that's probably half of it. Is Brentwood what that is? No. <laughs> the neighborhood. <laughs> I also thought he was talking I about the wood in the house. The wood. <laughs> that's funny. This bathroom over here is nice. Do you have a couch in your bathroom? Yes. Oh, really? Yes. yes. Okay. We need to get on Mark's level. The number one rule is you have to have a heated seat. That's it? That feeling when you sit down and you go... It is not cold. <laughs> I agree. You don't need to make billions to be happy. You just need to be able to afford a bidet <laughs> and a heated toilet seat. Because that's where I spend most of my time. Well, even <laughs> though I'm sure Mark would love to spend more time here on the toilets, our time here has officially ran out. So... I'll see you guys at the next ah. house. <laughs> Up next, we have a house whose price point happens to be a funny number. And now we are at the $69 billion mansion. The bidet like is crazy, bro. That's probably why them niggas don't be wearing drawers. How's this to your house, Miranda? <laughs> it's a lot bigger than mine. <laughs> that can't be true. What's your address? <laughs> the reason why this weird-looking house can still go on the market for $69 million is because it's filled to the brim. Is that Miranda Cosgrove? And sculptures sourced from all around the world. Building your online business? Then we got another ad. Man, I hope this mic ain't filtering out what I'm saying, bro. Integrated platform. World. Throw up how much these artworks are worth, and we're gonna try to guess it. How much do you think this is worth? I'm gonna say a hundred thousand. What do you think, Miranda? That is McKenna. Oh, I mean, that is Miranda Cosgrove. Yeah. <laughs> Only you know the actual price. Oh wait, actually, this one will be a fun one. I'm gonna go with a million dollars because it's like right down the opening stairs. So. Uh, four hundred and fifty thousand. Very precise. Very specific. <laughs> the thirty million dollar house had a water park, a hundred cars. This place. Just this art. Artwork. Big red sculpture thing. This room over here, we promised them 30 times we wouldn't touch what's in it. Come over no here. touching <laughs> anything. Yes. What is it? This is a one-of-one, -one, fully analog, custom home sound system. Made by the creator of the Walkman, which was one of the first devices that allowed you to listen to music while walking. That's an impressive thing to have under your belt, to made the Walkman. I don't think you could fit this under your belt. <laughs> <laughs> it's traverse across I really want to hear what oh that God. sound, hold on, no, 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 pause, bro. I really want to hear what that sound system sound like, bro. That, the, like, to have a big-ass rig like that, bro, the sound got to be immaculate. I better hear, I better hear that nigga. It better sound like them niggas in live concert, bro, in the room. But to have a rig that big, bro, and that bitch had all them old-timey speakers, bro, go back, look at that. And which was one of the first devices that allowed you to listen to music while walking. That's an impressive thing to have under your look belt. Look at that. Made the walk, man. I don't think you could fit this under your belt. <laughs> that bitch look like microwaves on there, man. Let's across the skywalk. Oh my god, I'm excited. Another reason why this house is built so strange, for example, having to walk across sky bridges to get anywhere, is because it's been meticulously built to be able to withstand the force of a real tsunami. I mean, you gotta admit, that's pretty cool. Wow. You can see the tsunamis before they hit your Who house. Who be you doing that nigga <laughs> graphics, bro? Place the view is uh, the neighbor's backyard. You can see all of it. What if the man who lives here is secretly in love with the person that lives next door? <laughs> That's his ex-girlfriend. <laughs> it's a Romeo and Juliet. And after checking out the last two rooms inside, Great a surprise type shit. waiting for us outside. Look over there. What? These nuts. <laughs> did you guys even notice the planes drawing that? No. <laughs> How on earth did they do that? I paid these planes and also bought a thousand billboards all across the Oh, because I was just Let about to say. Feastables is the best tasting chocolate you can buy. Stop eating Hershey's and other boomer brands. Feastables is modern chocolate. Also, because Halloween's coming up and all these retailers you see here, we're now selling these bags of these smaller Feastables bars so you can give them out during trick-or-treating. If you don't want to be lame on Halloween, 
Make sure you give away feastables to trick-or-treaters. Luckily, our candy is very affordable, but you want to know what's not very affordable? The final house, or should I say, the $139 million arguably- Before I get to that, bro, this nigga Mr. Beast is like a unlimited money glitch, because basically he could give back to anybody, bro. He could come on a college campus and bless somebody like me, bro. And bless the bless the whole campus, and the views that he gonna get from that one video, he have been made all that money back, bro. This nigga's a walking unlimited money glitch, bro. Dead ass. The most luxurious house on the planet, Mega Mansion. This massive 36,000 square foot mansion has things you'd never see in any other house. From a nightclub, to a T-Rex, to an entire robotic car elevator, this place is going to blow you- Now, I don't like spots like too big, bro, because if spots are too big, a nigga can hide in your house, bro, and you'll never find that nigga. Like, imagine, let's just say you work, right? And you go to work. You go to work, go to your bedroom, you go home. A nigga can live in your house, like either one of them floors on that on that building. A nigga can live in your house, and you wouldn't know. Like like that nigga could take his own route. Know when you go to work. Know when you go home. A nigga could live in your house. Pro probably drive your cars because you're gonna have about twelve of them. Nigga gonna drive your car, put it right back where it was. Nigga been living off you, and when you finally catch him, nigga gonna be like, "Bro, I've been here for about, I've been here for about five years, bro. Like, no bullshit. Nigga been in, then then lived in your, literally lived in your shit rent free." your mind and to make this house tour a little extra special we brought justin timberlake how you guys doing and this is justin's house <laughs> no <laughs> holy crap have you ever seen a view better than this in your life this is gorgeous yeah man you guys really the cgi is perfect it looks real <laughs> <laughs> mr like, yeah, beast need to go up on a uh, grave digger mountain five. It's hard to describe just how big this mansion really is. It has 12 bedrooms and 17 bathrooms split across three massive stories. You telling me three stories, 12 bedrooms. It ain't that many people in the world, bro. It ain't. I mean, well, I ain't gonna say that. It ain't that many people to be in one residence. That's 12, 12 bedrooms. Spanned across three floors, and you telling me a nigga can't live in your house? A nigga can live in your crib, bro. Wait till you go to work, or if you never go to work, or if you never there, nigga live there, bro. Have people over, have parties at, on the third floor. Yo ass will never know. Oh, with a perfect view of the Los Angeles skyline. I always judge a house by the kitchen. Minimalist kitchen. You judge these things, how are you feeling? Um, well, let's keep going. At the end of the tour, we'll get his opinion on if he'd pay $100 million. He has it on standby if he likes it. Straight cash, homie. Everything in this house is built out of the most expensive materials on the planet. For example, the walls in this room are constructed entirely out of rare marble imported straight from Italy. You guys gotta get an estimate or something of how much marble's actually in this house. I mean, that's a, that's like, custom done yeah there's not a single thing of drywall in this entire house drywall <laughs> it's a pretty sick chandelier this chandelier is over a million dollars and the ceiling literally started dipping because it weighs so many thousands of pounds it really keeps going you didn't tell me it was a million i was playing with it earlier there's literally six million dollars of just chandeliers in this house and the rooms on the bottom floor get even better there's a whole other house down here if you come over here i think this is literally an ice room is this where you lock me in <laughs> Please don't. Yep. So, like, what are you doing here? They ran out of room ideas. Probably a 50% chance we're locked in here because that doesn't have a handle. Oh, no, we're good. That would have been oh. funny if we were. Oh, his face. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a real dinosaur? Now that you know the house has a dinosaur, are you more apt to buy it? <sighs> I'm still on the fence. Oh. <laughs> what? Is this a locker room? No one currently owns this house, so they put name tags of the few people on the planet that can actually afford it. Warren Buffett's worth like 80 billion, Ellison's worth like 50 billion, Bezos like 100 billion. Chandler, why is your name not up here? Oh. Ooh. 
All right, let's check out the whips. No, no, you just posing. I'd just be sitting here. You really match the house. Thank you. I was, I was going for that. Yeah. I was going for that. Job well done. No one's gonna go in there. Then you telling me, just hear me out. Just hear me out. Just hear me out. You got six cars, and the motherfuckers in your living room or or wherever area this is. My bad. Is you know when you when you get rich, you go to just just giving rooms names that ain't even. Ain't even that name, you know what I'm saying? Regular houses got what a living room, couple bedrooms, bathroom, kitchen, uh, dining room. Like at this point, bro, you telling me that I couldn't live in this house? Like a nigga can? I'm telling you, somebody can sneak and drive your cars. What? what what's this address again, bro? Where this at? L.A. The editing room and clip that. <laughs> my name is Squidward, and I had my life. I'm interested in that, but I'm thinking of killing myself. But before I can yeah, bro. Ain't nobody this trying to. $2.5 million car elevator is one of the most car insane elevator. features in the whole house. Basically, you select which car you want to drive on the tablet, and it literally sends it up two floors right into the garage. I know what you're thinking. You... The main problem with this is it only stores six Lamborghinis, and yeah. you needed like a, a 10 car storage. <laughs> right. This house also had by far the biggest home theater I've and ever Dennis, seen in my bro. life. Whoa. Whoa. This almost looks like bro. a real movie theater. This is the best movie theater so far. And they're actually yeah, reclining chairs. It only costs 100 mil for that. <laughs> Check it out. One thing that I want in life, if I ever get rich, if I get a crib, it got to have a theater in it. It got to have a movie theater. It ain't even got to have an arcade in it. If I get rich, bro, I got to have a movie theater, bro. You know how player that shit is, bro? You know how player a movie theater in your crib is, bro? That shit, bro. Just don't know. And back to my argument about the whole Lamborghini situation. So you telling me a nigga can't steal one of your cars? Drive that bit. Bring it back. Because if you rich, I doubt you're in your house 24-7 anyway, bro. Because you got shit to do to, to keep the rich lifestyle going. A nigga, can, a nigga can live in your house, eat your food, and uh, drive your cars. No cap. No, Jimmy, wait, what's it? Press my massage button. Oh, I got you. <laughs> hey. Now, not saying, not saying that y'all don't have security or whatever, duh. But, like, let's just say you didn't have security. A per and a person was really just not trying to steal from you. A person, like, like let's just say one of your family members that you know, but he know where you stay at. A family member that you know can live there and you would never see him. He'll drive your shit, all that. You would never see him. I don't need this. <laughs> Bro, where's my button? My chair's not even doing that. Here, switch. Let me see. Yeah, Chandler, test the massage feature. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, it works. There's no way this is just the only one here. Man, this is crazy. Bro, what is wrong with him? All right, lead the way upstairs. This is a primary bedroom over here. Hmm? Oh, and then over here, the bathrooms. In case you've ever well, wanted to shower Look at Justin looking like people. he about to buy some <laughs> shit. No one ain't even about that expensive ass house. You can take a house. bath with no one. Basically all Rock yourself. your body was but not... Showering, you can fit an army in there. <laughs> That's what you're into. He is. <laughs> Rock your body you know, did not make you that much money, the gang. The real reason this house costs so much. I'm pressing it. Uh... Is this a screen? It is absurdly large. Yeah, I'm hating, bro. It's I'm hating. Slow. It gives drama, though. It is, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's a it gives a dramatic effect. Aw, oh, yeah, bro, I'm hating. This nigga got a... Sh this nigga got an outdoor theater, bro. I mean... With a pool. Like, that shit's so tough. Reflects. What a gorgeous view of L.A. <laughs> yeah, imagine if the screensaver was L.A. I think it is. It is. There's downtown L.A. And there's downtown My. L.A. For reference, Carl's like six foot five. Bro. Yeah, something like that, give or take. And look how tall the TV is compared to him. All right, Justin, you've seen the whole house. We need to know. Obviously, you have $100 million in cash sitting outside. Right. Are you going to buy the house? Go back, No bro. one's shirt comes with him.
I'm a like, <laughs> I'm a real. I think it is. Cinematic type LA. individual, bro. Like, <laughs> hold on. Carl's like six foot five. Yeah, something like that. Give I gotta see it again. Like, imagine all the shit that you can play on that big ass screen, bro. I can see it now. You might get me at the free line with DJ for me. He do it the big, cut the track up like a rig. All right, Justin. Seen the whole house, we need to know. Obviously, you have a hundred million dollars in cash sitting outside. Right. Are you gonna buy the house? No one's shirt comes with it. You don't like my shirt? Your shirt comes with it? Yes. Yeah, I'm in. Does, <laughs> does, does the bear that ripped up the shirt come with it? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Why? I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you around. To buy the house you just saw, check out 1200 Bel Air in Los Angeles. Nobody's buying that damn house. And the reason why is because it is very, 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 very expensive. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that was a pretty good video. One thing about Mr. Beast, though, he, he know how to get the attention and keep the attention. If you click on a Mr. Beast video, he know how to keep you in it. And he's, like, incorporated. Like, with his graphic designers, I got to know who those people are. But, like... His videos be like moving thumbnails. Like when he do that, I don't know how to explain it. Like his video fashion is the same as his thumbnails. Very entertaining. It's like, very entertaining. But yeah, that was Mr. Beast. One dollar dot. Wow. Fuck. My bad. I meant to say one hundred million dollar house. One, one dollar house versus one hundred million dollar house. Pretty interesting video. Uh, Mr. Beast has a very specific formula on being entertaining. Good video. Yeah, bro. Kind of remind me, took me back to like the MTV crib days where I used to look at uh, those people's houses and hate my house. But you got to love your house before you can get a house like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, everything going to come within time. If you got to if you got to the end of this video, let me know in the comments. Say I manifest. I'm gonna manifest that for you. And we gonna manifest that for each other. As for uploads, I'm gonna try to upload every day, bro. Usually um I don't have time. And now I have no excuses. I don't have shit but time. <laughs> time and energy. Time and energy. Brother, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. This has been Kill Plays.